What's going on guys, it's Chev for your charity of the week, week number 11. Now quickly before we get started, I cut out a part of the gameplay because it was honestly it was pretty boring and I'm sure you guys don't want to watch a near 9 minute commentary. And I also have a new mic you may have noticed, so hopefully this quality is a bit better than my previous mic and might won't give off like some annoying buzzing noise like my previous one. But anyway, so this week is something uh, like a bit different. Uh, it's something based less on physical problems and more about mental wellness. The charity this week is the DBSA, or Depression and Bipolar Support Alliance. Now, this is something everyone can relate to. Uh, there comes a point in everyone's lives where you just feel trapped, you know? You're, you're upset, you're tired, or you're just completely not motivated to do anything. And mo most people would consider that depression, I guess, just in the general term. Which isn't completely wrong, but there is a difference between being in a simple, just bad mood and being depressed. A bad mood could last maybe just a couple hours to a couple days but depression is a more extreme bad mood feelings caused by depression could last up to like weeks months e like even for no particular reason at all you just don't feel good enough for what whatever reason and depression normally rears its ugly head like around in your teenage years uh, mostly through puberty depression obviously like causes stress extreme sadness and even like suicidal tendencies and stuff like that and the great thing about the dbsa is the fact that they aren't just a one-dimensional organization they are able to find like treatments that are proven to work like talk therapy medication or a combination of both to help the like the individual feel better and to change situations in their lives that could be contributing to their illnesses like substance abuse and harmful relationships and stuff like that so with the dbsa you have like a therapy home and a place to find medication and a place to help you like turn your life around for a brighter future if substance abuse or anything like that is actually causing you know these problems in your life and another mental Ill illness uh, they treat is bipolar disorder now for some odd reason i don't know what it is today uh, a lot of people today think being bipolar is a cool thing, uh, but they don't know that it's an actual mental illness, like it's a problem. Not some way of life where you can act all crazy and try to impress all the people around you and try to gain attention to yourself. That's just, that honestly is extremely immature in my opinion. Actual bipolar disorder is actually extremely harmful. Uh, bipolar disorder affects nearly 6 million adult Americans and an equal number of men and women. And that's just in America, guys. That's just in America. It could, in the UK, Europe, like just everywhere. Uh, it tends to run in uh, like families and is found like among all races. It doesn't matter if you're white, black, Mexican, anything like that, ethnic groups and social classes, stuff like that. It does not matter. Like depression and like other serious illnesses, it can also adversely affect spouses and like dating and stuff like that like significant others family members friends and co-workers and stuff like that it's something more than just a simple mood swing a lot like depression isn't just a simple bad mood it's something that people simply cannot control so being an audience most likely uh you know in these affected in these years i'm sure many of us can understand the severity of the actual illnesses so if you or even a loved one are uh, struggling with depression or bipolar disorder, there are people out there to help, just like the DBSA. You don't have to donate, but I do encourage it. But if you want to do your part without involving money, just simply leave a like on this video uh, to give this charity a bit more recognition. And this gameplay is now basically over. So until the next time, guys, it's been Jev. Later.